Shelby County Schools today are coming to take part in our Coastal Explorer program. It's a one day, half day field trip that we set up to allow teachers and students to come and have a hands on, inside outside uh, exploration of coastal ecology and the science around it. And the most important rule for the day is to have fun. Please have some questions. Well, what we're doing today is we're exploring nature and we're trying to get a better understanding of our world. So, so far, um, I've learned about a couple kinds of um, trees and moss. So there's Spanish moss, and then I learned about um, the, the uh, magnolia, which is pretty cool. If you're just reading something in a book or you're just listening to a teacher talk about it, um, they, they can grasp the concept of what you're talking about, but having that hands-on, they can connect that to, um, to the book and to what you're reading that day in class. Um, they're able to get that knowledge in a different way. This is a southern magnolia tree. You can tell it's a southern by how broad the leaves are. It, it kind of sparks like a, a spinning wheel in their brains and they start, they start asking questions. They're like, well, why is it like that? Why does it work like this? Why is that plant important? How do you know this? And it kind of um, gets them excited for just learning about science and learning in general. I think it's a motivation um, aspect, which is really cool to me. So the Marine Education Center is in, is in a complex that the university owns for research and education. This lower 100 acres, we have a waterfront interface with a dock and a pavilion so that people can go on, on the bayou for a tour or sample within the bayou. We also have this exhibit hall, and the exhibit hall is designed to, through technology and exhibits, let students see how the processes that are learning here translate to the rest of the world. And then we, we have these classrooms on the other side that are designed to bring the outdoors into the classroom for them to do individual assignments. We're a STEAM school, so we do a lot of science, technology, um, we do a lot of different activities, we do different field trips to get, you know, an outside experience rather than just in books and everything as well. Getting a hands-on experience helps a lot as well. I have learned that it's a lot more things than what I think because when I think of Mississippi, I think of just country. And here it's just a beautiful lake and it's beautiful nature and lots of inter interesting trees and lots of interesting nature. We are dissecting a shark and taking out its part, the parts of the body. We've seen um, the eye. We, we took out the eye and we're taking out the middle part inside of it. It's really gross, but it actually is really cool. Um, I think what's important is that they get to do a lot of hands-on activities. Things that, uh, hands-on activities on things that they don't normally see in their own area. I mean, it's not every day you get to walk out on a pavilion and get to look out over a bayou and see natural marsh grasses or see birds um, in their natural habitat flying around or hunting for fish. And then same thing with the shark dissection. It's not every day you get to see a shark, um, even if it's dead, on your own table in front of you and you get to actually do the um, di uh, dissection on it. I hope they take away um, knowing that they had a fun time on their field trip to know that field trips are a beautiful thing that they get to enjoy and then I also hope that they get to uh, enjoy and take away a love for their natural world around them. Um, every day we hear about marine debris affecting things and I hope that they get to realize what that marine debris is affecting and how important this world is to them. Um, it provides oxygen, all these plants provide oxygen for us and they're going to get to see that. Um, predators like sharks are very, very good for our food chain system and I hope that they get to take that away and just realize the bigger picture and that it's more than just being in Memphis.